Hey Pokemon fans, Earl from Pokemon Awesome here, and we're back with more Let's Play of Pokemon Trading Card Game for the Game Boy Color. Uh, last time we took on the Water Club and took that uh, club medal, and then we came here to uh, basically just rip off this Band-Aid with the Lightning Club. Since uh, we're using a Water Deck that's weak to Lightning, might as well just get this one out of the way. So we already took care of these two over here, so now just need to fight Brandon here, then we'll be able to fight the uh, Club Master. And already off to a great start. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, let's start with the chop since we only have fighting energy in our hand right now. So we've got one Pokemon. Oh my god. Well, talk about an anticlimax, guys. We've already won. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Off to a great start. Raichu, Kadabra. Okay. like our fifth Duck Trio. Maybe sixth, I don't know. Pretty close to having the whole Coliseum booster finished. Uh, I think we're only four cards away from finishing it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nope. I don't want to talk to you again. Alright, so here we are, and looks like Isaac's all done. So, we can, uh, duel him right now. Except not. A couple things I want to take care of first in the lobby. Because we talked to Isaac, we can now get the mail from Dr. Mason. And he's using, uh, self-destruct again, like, um, uh, the other guy. I forget his name already. <laughs> but, uh, let's see what we got. Ooh, evolution. We're pretty low on evolution cards here, so... Ooh, we've got Gengar. It looks like it's mostly repeats of what we have already. I think Gengar's the only new thing. Alright. But yeah, looking at Coliseum, we're only missing four cards. Uh, we've got these two, I think. One of them is Kangaskhan, the other... I don't think the other is Dratini. And we're missing two items, one of which is plus power, I know that much. Uh, yeah. Evolution, we're doing pretty well. We're missing Venusaur right here. Uh, I'm not sure what that one is. We're missing Victor Bell. A few other things. There, Pidgeot. Some, some more trainers. Okay, mystery we're just about done with. Laboratory we're barely done with. We're about halfway there. And we've only got three of the uh, promos. So yeah, we're making pretty good progress if we're ever going for 100%, which unfortunately is not possible on an emulator. I'll get to that later. But, uh, let's go for it. Let's take down Isaac. Okay. Storm Rattata. We got some good trainers to set us up with. I'm gonna open with Rattata just to see what he's got. So this Kangaskhan, um, for those familiar with the Kangaskhan EX, those in Flashfire, it's kind of reminiscent of that, only you draw one card instead of three. Um, let's see, he's got a full tool as well. Let's put Dickler on the bench, go for Bill, Ninja Surge and Mr. Fuji. Okay. 
actually. Gust of wind out this Voltor. Energy search for a fighting energy. With that Diglett, and with our free retreat, we've got a decent setup right here. Defender, that's fine. Um, hmm. Tough call. Do I set up the Rotata or do I go for Oak? I'll go for Oak. Find energy? No. Um, got another gust of wind, so that's useful. I got that Electabuzz. That's what we got here. Jeez, no fighting energies. Wow. We've got Magikarp here. I think I want to draw him just here. Wow, we are not off to a really good start here, guys. Taking out Diglett with this move because it ignores resistance. Don't know what he's thinking. All right, let's um stall you. Don't want to take any chances. This is, this is hubris for um, that quick duel with Brandon. And I'll take the damage, but I get the paralysis. I mean, I do have the full heal. I'm not gonna waste it right now. Okay, we 
We've got another bill. This could be super useful. And it's not. Alright. Give me a head.
will admit, I was a little bit nervous there, but... I had faith. <laughs> Mystery. And we've got the other electrode. Kabuto. All right, so that makes our third master medal. Now, once you get three master medals, something opens up here at the challenge hall. Now, normally when you come in here, it would just have the uh, standard uh, overall theme, but because we have this uh, pretty bombastic theme, something's going on. We'll go in here, we'll find Ronald, and he's basically telling us that there's a pretty much like a mini tournament for a special promo card, a level 60 Mewtwo. And we can talk to all these people here. Seems not to lose. Yeah, none of these are um challengers, but um, yeah, it's one of those uh little things here. Now, the uh, people that you fight are randomly selected from all of the different clubs um, as far as the uh, standard club members. So, we could be facing people like Matthew or even Brandon. Um, and there's also, I believe for, in the story mode at least, Ronald usually shows up as either the second or third fight for all of these. Um, I think for this one's the third fight, but that's basically going to be our second encounter against Ronald, and we basically just want to beat him. So, I'm going to actually do the smart thing and do a quick save, because um, we want this Mewtwo. And if we mess up, we probably won't be able to get it for a long while. So we talked to this uh, clerk over here. And she will let us enter. Each of these are going to be um, four prize matches against uh, three opponents. So here we have Chris. Oh, Chris is um, he's one of the uh, the fighting club members. Yeah, the one we uh, fought back in the rock gym. Did the rock club? Did we fight him in? Yeah, and also during this, uh, these fights, we get the, uh, the Clubmaster battle theme, which is pretty cool. It's actually one of my favorites. So, ooh, I already have the magic card. Hold on to that. Alright. Let us star you. And just slap it in the face. Star you just keep slapping. Now we're likely gonna lose this star you and he gets a bench Pokemon. It's never that easy. Okay. Let's take that on Diglett. Let's search for another one for the next turn. Hopefully we can take out that Meowth in one shot with Mudslap. Until he goes into a Persian. Okay. And we'll still... We'll sacrifice Staryu here for to get the free switch in. That he used. I need to double check on what that does. Defend Pokemon attack. Okay, that's only for defending Pokemon, which is no longer in battle, so Mud Slap will take it out. Okay. One down, two to go. Okay, so Chris will go off. And here. We have Andrew from the Rock Club. 
I think... I don't know if it only pulls from the people you pl already played against. Never really looked into that. Ooh, I don't have any energy. No ways to get any. This could be tough. Ooh, and he's starting with Jinx. I don't like seeing all heads on attacks like that. Yeah, I need to slow him down. Put on some Cubo now. Yeah, gotta use up the potion just to just to stay healthy. I could really use a bill right now. I don't need basics, I need energy. I only play, I think, eight or nine of each energy in my deck. So, I don't, see, I don't know why I'm not getting any. Okay, Bill, please pull through. Okay, we at least got an energy search. Which is just as good. Away this jinx. Oh, that Q one's really powered up right now. Call. If I get this. I'll hold on to the Pokeball. Because I, I don't want to go for my Dugong yet because I don't have energy. <coughs> Excuse me. Gyarados. That's something. I don't like this at all. Okay. Let's try to go for a Pokeball. No. Let's try it again. Okay. Let's get another turn. I can't do that. But this move that's that can be uh, very devastating. Twenty plus ten for each damage counter on for any Pokemon. It's well that's been around since day one, so hopefully gets one heads, and we can take out this Jinx, or he switches. Alright, time to turtle with Gyarados, and I'm just gonna do this. So, fun thing about Gyarados is that he has the uh, resistance to fighting and uh, weakness to grass. Uh, that's one of the main reasons why I like him in the deck, because he's one of the, like I said, he's one of the few water types that does not have a weakness to lightning in this game. The only other ones are the uh, Almanite line, 
Omnite Omastar, and the, uh, the Poliwag Evolutionary line. So, we got... All you can do is Snivel. He's not gonna bother with trading. Snivel just reduces by 20, so yeah. Even if I do get another Water Energy, I won't be able to knock it out with Dragon Rage, unfortunately. Bill once more. Okay. I don't have a switch. I, I just use my switch, that's right. Let's put three on him, that will allow his rage to hit over my resistance for ten damage. It's worth it. Just to get rid of him. Or he can retreat. And hit me for 30 with Ponyta. On the plus side, I will be able to hit him for weakness right now. And gone. Okay. There's Professor Oak. That's what I needed to see. Alright, this Onyx takes nothing from 30 or less damage, so that's nothing we're hitting from 50. Put this on seal. Could have put on Gyarados and then healed him. Oh well. Professor Oak, give me a new hand, please. Yes, thank you. match taken, because we still have that gust of wind to, to drag out either the Cubone or the Ponyta. I mean, I have Switch, so that's not going to 
matter too much. The real question is, who do I put the MVP in this end slate? Diglett or Gyarados? <laughs> Probably Diglett. Alright, and here we are. We got Ronald. So, we're gonna be facing off against Ronald, and he's basically taunting us, saying he's not going to lose. But we all know that he's going to lose. But we'll save that for another for another time. So until then, thank you all for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check out PokemonAwesome.com for all the greatest deals on Pokemon, both TCG and non-TCG related products. Until then, we will catch you guys later.